My name is Ryan and today we'll be looking at a lab experiment under fluid dynamics which involves the use of Bernoulli's equation. First, we need to understand what is fluid dynamics and the Bernoulli's equation. Fluid dynamics is the branch of fluid mechanics that studies fluid with movement and motion, or in a simpler term, fluid flow. Under fluid dynamics, there's the Bernoulli's principle. The principle displays the relationship between fluid velocity and fluid pressure and states that when the area for fluid flow decreases, the fluid velocity increases while the fluid pressure decreases. From the principle, the famous Bernoulli's equation was born. It remains a very useful equation to this day. This brings us to this experiment, with the objective to validate this previously mentioned relationship, which is between the area of fluid flow with the fluid velocity and fluid pressure. Also, this experiment aims to compare the behavior of an ideal fluid to an actual fluid by utilizing the Bernoulli's equation. Now, the methodology of this experiment involves the use of Bernoulli's apparatus test equipment, which is formed by connecting a taper duct or venturi meter to the manometers in order to measure the pressure head and total head in the fluid flow. There are not many materials and apparatus required for this experiment. We just require the Bernoulli's test apparatus as mentioned earlier, which consists of a paper duct or venturi system and a series of manometers. This test apparatus also requires a horizontal surface, a water tank, and a power supply to work. Or if available, just use it with a hydraulics bench. Moving on to the procedure. First, place the test apparatus on a horizontal surface. Then, connect the apparatus to the power supply. Keep in mind that the power supply should still be turned off. Open the air bleed valves of the manometers. Following that, turn on the power supply for the pump to start running, and adjust the control valve until the water level in the manometers is at a readable range. Now, we measure the flow rate. To do that, we place the stop plug or close the ball valve of the tank and measure the time needed to fill the tank with a known amount of water. After that is done, remove the stop plug and drain out all the water from the tank and the data can be collected. This is done by placing the dynamic pressure probe with the static pressure probes and measure the manometer data from both probes and repeat the process for all the subsequent static pressure probes. When it is all done, remember to turn off the pump and disconnect the power supply. Now we have the data, we can proceed to results and discussions. First, we need to obtain the flow rate of the fluid. As an example, if we have water of mass 6 kg and time of fluid flow of 13.075 seconds, that gives us a volume of 0.006 cubic meters since the density of water is 1000 kg per cubic meters. This produces a flow rate of 0.000459 cubic meters per second as flow rate is volume over time. From the flow rate equation, we can obtain the fluid velocity. Now if we are given an area of fluid flowing through of 0.000531 meters square, and using the previous flow rate value, a fluid velocity of 0.865 meter per second will be produced. Now this is where we apply the famous Bernoulli's equation. Here we have it in its energy equation form or also known as the head form. Considering the fluid flows at the same elevation level, the elevation head remains constant. So does the total head, which is also constant along a streamline. This leaves us with only the velocity head affecting the pressure head. And since it is the same fluid, hence the same density, we are left with the equation involving the fluid pressure in terms of depth as well as fluid velocity. From there, a graph of depth or height against different points along the fluid flow can be plotted. The depth or height represents the fluid pressure while the different points represent different velocities along the flow. And as shown by the graph, points with higher velocities are at lower depth. At the middle point, which is the center of the venturi meter, the area allowing the fluid flow is the smallest, 
hence the highest fluid velocity and the lowest depth and fluid pressure. As a conclusion, the objectives of the experiment are achieved. The relationship between area of fluid flow, fluid velocity, and fluid pressure were proven and Bernoulli's equation was validated. Ideal fluid and actual fluid also exhibit different behaviors as proven by the graph earlier. And this goes to show that water is not an ideal fluid according to Bernoulli's equation. And with that, thank you.